This is a two-pack of MPFW50 batteries for Sony cameras and a USB charger. I received this from Amazon from the Vine Voice Review Program for free to review. If you wanted to buy this, it would cost you $26. I was not paid for this review and my opinions are my own. So in the box you have a bonus um, microfiber cleaning cloth and two of these compatible batteries. So each box has the battery in a little bubble wrap bag. And you can see here, this is um, a compatible battery that will go with a Sony camera. In this case, it's the Alpha 6300, but there's a lot of other Sony cameras in the Alpha line that take this same battery. So my camera reports this battery as being 57% charged out of the box. Now, in addition to the two batteries, you get a USB-C battery charger. This comes with a USB-A to C cable. And this charger actually has a USB-C input port and a micro USB input port. So I assume you can use either of those two ports to charge it and it just takes a 5 volt input source. There's a small instruction manual here. And the summary of the instructions is insert the batteries and plug this into a USB power supply. Or I've plugged this into a USB power delivery power supply and it is working with that properly. So channel 1 is the top and channel 2 is the bottom. And it is charging these batteries. Um, it appears to be charging them independently of each other. And we will let that go until these batteries get fully charged. Currently they have two solid bars and two flashing bars. One of these batteries, my camera said, was at 57%. So that seems to be your standard, you know, each bar is about 25% of your battery. So with two batteries in it, this charger is drawing 1.75 amps. So it looks like any USB port that can provide 10 watts, you know, 5 volts at 2 amps, should be sufficient to power this charger. So when only charging one battery, it's drawing 0.85 amps um, at 5 volts. Alright, I fully discharged this battery. We're going to put it in the battery charger and I'm monitoring the draw here with this USB power meter and it's going to tell us how many watt hours it puts into the battery or at least how many watt hours it draws through the watt eater. There might be a little bit of um, losses in the charger. Okay, so we've charged this guy back up. It took uh, 1.6 amp hours at the 5 volts and it is basically 8 watt hours of power that went back into this guy. Now on the back of the thing here they claim 10.8 watt hours, um, so that's obviously not true. There can't be more than 8 watt hours in these guys um, if it takes 8 watt hours to charge them back up. So I charged up my original Sony battery, which is a couple of years old, and I ran it in my camera, and it ran the camera just sitting idle there with the screen at full brightness for 168 minutes. This guy here ran the camera for 158 minutes. So the takeaway is that these guys have about as much capacity as a couple year old Sony battery. Um, so this guy here claims to have 7 watt hours of capacity, 7.2 watt hours of capacity. These guys claim to have 10.8, but I don't believe that because when I recharged them, it only took 8 watt hours to charge them up. Um, and there's some losses in the charger here. But they do run the camera. They have reasonable capacity compared to the original uh, name brand battery. And the price is a lot cheaper than the name brand battery. I do like this charger here, the dual charger. So you can basically plug these two guys in, charge them both at the same time, or you can just always have you know, a couple sitting there charging. Um, the charger does work with the Sony batteries as well. And these guys will work in the Sony chargers as well. Um, so this setup here with two batteries and a charger at this price point, I think is a very good deal. 
because for you know $27, you know, it's you, you can't beat that with the name brand batteries.